what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel for another video i know that we're not in the same setting that we typically are in out on the property but i decided it'd probably be a good idea to let the property cool down prior to hunting season and it sort of worked out great because it's kellyanne's birthday weekend so she's got people in town but they left the house so they could go have breakfast and do whatever it is that they're doing so i figured that right now would be a great time to start a new series on this channel so y'all stick around and we'll get into it all right y'all so i am gonna apologize my neighbors are mowing the lawn and i can't do anything about it but the plan for today as i introduced in the last video this is the camper shell that we got for the truck there's the truck <laughs> so the plan for the rancher shell is pretty straightforward i'm going to build a bed set up on one side of the bed of the truck that also has a pull out drawer inside of it with all the cooking stuff that i need inside of it so i can stay long term out on the property or wherever i'm trying to hunt fish um i'm also going to rig up a uh wood burning stove on one side so that we can have heat inside of there and then if this ends up working out well maybe we'll get a portable ac system for the back of the truck as well now this isn't as straightforward as it would seem again this camper shell was free so it comes with some problems all of the gaskets on it are pretty much dry rotted out the windows are pretty good actually the seals they don't leak as far as i know um, but the back door is broken the hinge is fine but all the gaskets are burnt out the the gas lifts are burnt out and the handles are broken and the back lights broken and i have to fix all of those things before i put them on for obvious reasons now the backlight is really the most important thing to me because i can't do any more tickets because i actually have a court summons in two days for getting tickets um and so i'm gonna have to go get all that fixed before i can get mounted back onto the back of the truck and really get working on it because i do need to drive this truck to get to work and all the other stuff that i use it for in regular day life now what are we going to do today i'm going to go to lowe's and some other hardware stores and see if i can find some new wiring for the brake light on the back of this thing and then i'm also going to see if i can get some three quarter inch plywood sheets so that i can start building this at some point in time as well as seeing if they have any gas lifts for it because i do know that they have a section for truck bed accessories like toolboxes and and camper shells and ramps to get in the back of the truck with four wheelers and stuff like that so i'm gonna go see if they have any of the supplies that i'm gonna need for it which is pretty much just the plan for today um and then get doing just a little bit of work before kellyanne gets back because i'm making chowder for her this afternoon and it's going to require pretty consistent stirring so that's pretty much the plan for today i hope that y'all stick around and we'll get right into everything all right and in order to make this a little bit easier for me i went ahead and popped the uh, rear light off Come in. There it goes. Um, just to see what type of connection this has. Obviously, I did not go without breaking something. The plastic's dry rotted. Um, and I broke the connector on the rear brake light, but it looks like it's going to hold on tight enough so it won't be an issue. But I don't know if you guys can see that. I wanted to get an idea of what the connection looked like like prior to getting into the parking lot of Lowe's and having to pull my tail light off in case they do have an assembly that'll work for this. So, I'm going to get this back on and we're going to roll out the Lowe's. much rather give them my money than Lowe's. y'all so we got the chowder all thrown together in there and it's simmering meshing getting all the juices and the potatoes and the sausage and all that good stuff but so the plan for right now is i'm gonna go grab the pressure washer get it out here 
and pressure washed like 10 years of crap off of this thing because it was sitting back behind a guy's uh, garage where he replaced auto glass. That's not important to any of this, but I just thought I would throw it in there. Um, I went to Ace Hardware on the way to Lowe's. Never actually went to Lowe's because I didn't know that Ace Hardware was open on Sundays and got this camper seal. I'm going to get the camper up onto the back of the truck. Kellyanne might be small, but she is mighty. She can actually lift up the other half of this. So I'm going to get it set up here, brace it, and run the uh, the camper seal up on the bottom side of each side of this. And then uh, clamp it down. And from there, it should just stay there forever. I'm going to go ahead and get all that stuff and get this thing pressure washed and cleaned off. And then hopefully uh, we can start working on the back of it. Had to go put on some shoes before I hurt myself. So that was Kellyanne and my sister-in-law helping me get this thing on here because it weighs like 400 pounds so I couldn't do it by myself. I didn't want to put it on there all the way so I could make some adjustments to it and I wanted to be able to slide it on top of the plastic prior to putting the actual gasket on so I didn't mess up the gasket. So now I'm just going to pick it up piece by piece, start putting the gasket on. Um, but before that, I'm going to dry the plastic off on both sides so we can get a good, uh, good so we can get a good marriage between the two surfaces with the gasket on there. So it's a little bit lighter. I went back inside to go eat some chowder and watch a little bit of football the Eagles are playing right now. And Kellyanne and her sister are huge Eagles fans. And 
they're not playing too great. And quite frankly, I could not sit inside that house any longer. So we're, we're going to get back to work out here. This is what I have to deal with on a daily basis. So I went ahead and lifted this up with a sick uh, four by four. Um, so it'd be, give me just a little bit more room to work. I only have to move one thing because it's up on one point. Um, so I'm going to work all the way down to the end and then cut, work the front, cut, work the other side, cut. And uh, that'll be it. Alright y'all, so the Eagles just won. My life just got ten times easier. Um, but, got that gasket run all the way around. When I got to the front, I doubled it up just because there's a bigger gap. And I actually went and tripled it up on the corners. Um, if you do that, it can create gaps to where wind is going to be coming in and cold air is going to be feeding into the camper shell. But, what I'm going to do next is put these clamps on. You have to have clamps that hold the shell on to the truck, obviously, or it's going to fly off when you're driving. But I'm going to take these and I'm going to cinch them all the way down so it sort of compresses um, all of the gaskets that are stacked so that nothing is going through them. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I've got these ones that have a bolt top to them. And I'm going to take my electric uggy duggy, all that, get them all the way around. So in general, this is what the setup is going to look like. It's 33 inches wide, runs the full length. Um, I thought about doing two drawers or two pull-out drawers, but I'm trying to keep it uh, a truck as well and pretty uh, versatile where I can pull the whole setup out and throw it in the shed and be able to use the full length of my, uh, my bed if I need to. But I also want to have this side of the bed in order to, you know, be able to shoot deer, put them in the bed of the truck and be able to transport them without covering all my crap and blood because um, it does get pretty messy as I'm sure most of y'all know. Um, so that's pretty much set up. Y'all, I think that what I'm gonna do, this light has got an eight inch gap between the two bolts. 
that's pretty uh, standard to what I've seen on all of the uh, LED strips that are, are for uh, parking lights on these, or at least for what I saw over there at Ace. So I think I'm going to save that for the next uh, set in this series, and that this is pretty much going to be it for the rest of the day. I'm going to go through and clean out the inside of this with some Windex, get some ammonia in here, just make sure that there's no mold sitting in these gaps. Um, because I don't need to be inhaling all that crap if I don't need to. So I'm going to go through and clean out the inside of this. That's pretty much going to be it from here on the channel today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different from what we typically do, and if this is your first time being on this channel, I'd go back and watch something else. There's all types of outdoor stuff on this channel, like hunting, fishing. You name it, it's probably on the channel. So, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you join me in the next one. Mm -hmm.